Yet another scandal rocks the AFL. Two of the league's highest ranking executives have resigned from their positions after acknowledging affairs with young female employees of the industry. Football manager Simon Lethleen and commercial boss Richard Simkis admitted to taking part in inappropriate relationships and handed their resignations in to the AFL chief executive. Gillan McLaughlin says the pair were upfront and honest about what happened, but he expects more from his staff. They were quite separate matters, but of course distress and concern to a number of people. Simon and Richard have both been honest and forthright to me and to their credit own their mistakes and do not want the work of the AFL to be impacted by their actions. I expect that my executives are role models and set a standard of behaviour for the rest of the organisation. The development follows a fortnight to forget for the league after diversity manager Ali Fahour stood down from his post. He's been charged with assault following an on-field incident. The AFL chief says he makes no excuses for the actions of his employees. I'm not going to... Um, there's a set of unique pressures here, Caroline, but I'm not going to find an excuse. Um, we have um, a set of pressures that are unique, but in the end... Um, we're accountable to each other, to the team, to our industry and that, in the end there are no excuses. The off-field dramas in the AFL have overshadowed what's been seen as one of the most entertaining and successful seasons to date. The disgraced duo of Lethleen and Simkiss are hoping their behaviour doesn't tarnish the reputation of the game. AFL Legal Counsel and Game Development Chief Andrew Dillon will step in as Acting General Manager of Football, while Darren Burt will be Acting Commercial Manager. Ella Duffy, Sky News, Melbourne.